What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.4 beta 5 to registered developers. Now obviously this was overshadowed by the release of iOS 13 public beta 1 which was also released earlier today. But of course you guys know I like to cover every software update on the channel no matter how big or how small the update is. And plus, not everybody can run iOS 13 on their device. So of course in this video we're going to be talking about what's new here in iOS 12.4 beta 5 and of course we'll discuss when we can expect the final version to be released as well. So first things first you can see here the update came in at 229.6 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus which I have been running 12.4 on since beta 1. And if we go ahead over to settings to check out the new build number let's go to settings general about and go tap on 12.4 you can see the build number is 16g 5056d and that is a very familiar build number because beta 4 was 5046 so for beta 5 we went to 5056 and we do still have the d there at the very end which does indicate that we could possibly still have another beta so we could possibly have a beta 6 of iOS 12.4, which is crazy because there's really nothing new in this update. Now, of course, this update was just a minor update to begin with. This is mostly just getting the OS prepared for the Apple card, which is the credit card from Apple, which is supposed to come sometime in the summer, but I would say probably sometime within the next month because that's probably when we're gonna see iOS 12.4 get released to the public. And of course, there aren't gonna be any visual changes here in beta five coming from beta four. There's really nothing at all that's changed. I mean, everything still feels super fluid here on 12.4. I never really had an issue with performance here with 12.4. It's always been super smooth. Obviously, this is you know nearing the end of the iOS 12 cycle. So everything has really been optimized well, especially for older phones, even like the iPhone 8. It's not really an old phone, but the iPhone 8 Plus with the home button runs super smooth here on iOS 12.4. And for those of you out there who can't get iOS 13 on your device, or if you just want to stay on iOS 12 until iOS 13 gets a little bit more stable, I will tell you that it is a nice software update, especially like for iPhone 5S, iPhone 5 users. Even the beta builds here of iOS 12.4 are very smooth and definitely better than iOS 12.3.1 in my experience. Now, if you guys watched my beta 4 video, I did mention how a lot of people had Wi-Fi issues in beta 3. A lot of dropping Wi-Fi, a lot of not being able to connect to Wi-Fi. I saw it reported a lot on forums, and a lot of people also said that that was fixed in beta 4. Now, I don't use my iPhone 8 Plus as much as my other phones. You guys know I'm testing iOS 13 a lot, so I haven't really had a ton of time to play around with iOS 12, but in the time that I did, I did not have any kind of connectivity issues. So it seems like that issue has been fixed in beta 4, and I'm assuming it's gonna be the same here in beta 5. It's gonna be pretty solid. And the same goes with the battery drain issues. A lot of people had that on beta 3, and you know, looking at the forum posts and everything like that for people that are running this every day and using it every day all the time, they did say that it was also fixed in beta 4. So again, I'm assuming that's going to stay fixed here in beta 5. Now, since iOS 13 isn't you know as new as it was, over the past couple weeks, I am gonna be playing around more with iOS 12.4 here and iOS 12 to give you guys more accurate results as well. But again, performance wise, everything is perfect here on iOS 12.4, it runs super smooth, very fast, very fluid, not having any issues at all with performance, no crashing or anything like that, which is kind of nice going from iOS 13 when I did have some crashes to going back to iOS 12 where it's super solid. Although iOS 13, I will say, just from day to day when it doesn't crash is faster than iOS 12. And you can definitely feel it when you go back and forth on devices on older softwares. So when it comes to the release date of iOS 12.4 to the public, today is the 24th. We could probably expect to see it as early as next week, July 1st, we could possibly see it, but my bet is probably in the second week of July. But of course that does also depend on if we get another beta or not. Like I said, it is possible that we get a beta six, but it is also possible that Apple just jumps from this D build just to a final release. Because Apple does tend to do that a lot where they don't release like a GM build, they'll just jump straight to the final. So we could possibly see the final on the second week of July. And of course you guys know that I will keep you posted here on the channel. I will be covering all of these up updates again, regardless of how big or small the update is, just because you never know. There are people out there still running iOS 12 beta for a multitude of different reasons. So that's going to do it for this quick video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Not a lot to talk about here, but I did just want to update you guys on what's going on. So if you enjoy my content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe. I will be covering iOS 12 and iOS 13 a lot more in the future, as you guys already know. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.